Yeah, hi guys. It's Michael. <clears throat> this time of the project that I can can possibly take all credit. I, I can't take any credit for the project. I just hosted on my page and I made a little contribution um, by um, by an SMD layout. But this is a semiconductor tester. <clears throat> which allows you to test a lot of different components not just semiconductors but but off-the-shelf components as well and uh, get the technical specifications and on a commercial base such a product would not even be conceivable because for example at Reichelt you have to buy four different uh, pieces ranging up to two three hundred bucks to get this kind of functionality out so, what can it do? Has three pins here. I mean, this is a little crummy. I have to admit this. I mean, I must do this a little better. Um, this is an electrolytic capacitor which I'm testing here. Okay, what you can always do is putting the thing right in. And that's what I do. Well, that's great. Yeah, it says 200 microfarad. I don't know if you can see it. That's what it is. It's 220, but this is a very old capacitor. Now, let's go on. This is an NPN transistor. It says where the base, the collector and the emitter is, I mean on which pin it is, so and it says what kind of a amplification factor it has and the forward voltage. And to prove that you can just do this reversal, I put it in some some way different. Now I just reverse this. Now um, you see, still works. I mean you can put the part in like just like you want or wh which pen you ever want this is no let's take the standard LED notice it flashing when I test and um, it has a forward voltage of just about 1.9 volts and it says where the anode and the cathode is the cathode is at 1 here that's the flat side, that's right. And I could ca can do this reversal and it, the cathode will be at 3. Now, this is not a st standard LED, it's a dual LED, which means there is actually two LEDs and a parallel. And you know what the catch is? It notices it. Now this is a standard 100 ohm um, resistor which also can be tested and measured 98 it's a 100 but with intolerance this is I'd say that's great this is a standard silicate diet with a forward voltage of about 700 millivolt which it will just tell us right now and the, the cathode is uh, on pin 1 cathode 1 I can do this reversal, then the cathode will be on 3, you see? I mean, figuring this out in the filmer and and all these different parts is really tricky, it's really sophisticated work. Now this is a MOSFET. Uh, I can't get it in, so I just hold it. You see, it even says it has a protective diet. It even says the get gate capacity and all that stuff. It's, it's a, this is great. Another one. So, as you can see, this is a really fascinating project. And I built this case. Um, there is a lot of other cases, uh, I mean a lot of other layouts around for this project. It's great. Ah, one more thing. If you really want to do some good grabbers for that, don't use that. That's not good. Use those. 
those are really great expensive and not so good available but great you can just about grab onto to anything with those here we go here we go yeah guys that's it I mean I host this project on my homepage in my repository and I just tested it out. I mean, I know that there were a lot of weaknesses uh, uh, within, but those seem to be eradicated. I really can recommend you build this. It's a few hundred bucks worth of testing e equipment. It's great, great project. Thanks to Marcus, and um, nice to be able to show it off. See you soon.